Peace, guys. I'm back with another video. Today, we're talking about DoorDash. DoorDash is a joke. It's hilarious. I did a delivery the other day doing DoorDash, and it was to a pizza shop that normally I drive past it because they, they don't really get a lot of business, or maybe they don't do a lot of business with DoorDash. However, I did a delivery for them while signed into the DoorDash platform. I'm going to go more into this now. Some of you guys know about this. This is new to me. It's laughable. Um, so I got an order. Let me get to it now in my phone. It should be in here. Sorry about this. I should have had this ready. Come on. Let me see. Uh, screenshots. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> this, this was like hilarious. So, and I'm going to share this on screen. I got an order in my phone for two items to a pizza shop that, like I said, they don't get a lot of business. I was like, all right, cool. It was paying good. Let's do it. And I get there and I notice, I said, I said, hey, I'm, I'm, I got a DoorDash. And dude kind of looked at me funny when I said I had a DoorDash. So I was like, okay, whatever. Went back outside, waited. Then he was like, uh, I gave him the name. He said, oh, okay, two minutes or whatever he said. So I went back outside. I looked at my screen, pick up instructions, slice order. Please state to restaurant customer that you are picking up, dropping off for slice and not DoorDash. And I'm thinking to myself like, no, I'm doing DoorDash. It says upon arrival, slice order. Please state to restaurant customer that you are picking up, dropping off for slice and not DoorDash. And I'm just sitting up there like, dude, I'm doing DoorDash. And I thought that was kind of funny because slice must be another way to be on the DoorDash platform for restaurants that don't feel like paying 30% of their order. Cause a lot of you guys don't know. Let me break this down, right? Why DoorDash is a scam because DoorDash keeps all of the money. When you order something from any restaurant that you use, these restaurants pay 30% of the ticket to have DoorDash service them. So DoorDash is just a data company. DoorDash is not a delivery company. It's just a data company. So basically, they are just using an algorithm to see what the closest driver is and pairing that driver to that delivery. And that's all they're doing. Obviously, they do marketing and things like this and you know whatever else to become one of the biggest people in the market share like they have like almost all of the market share and they use that to their advantage to try to pay you two dollars and 25 cents to do a delivery that's the reason why they do that when you own so much market share you can do that but listen to what i'm telling you they take 30 percent of the money so if you make a 100 dollar order doordash gets 30 dollars $70 are left. Out of that $70, the food vendor had to make food, had to pay someone to make the food, right? So they had to buy food. The food vendor had to buy some food and they had to pay someone or people to make the food and they paid DoorDash 30%. And the driver has to get something which DoorDash tries to give us $2.25 or whatever. They got these really small base rates, but I'm going to break it down to you again. A $100 order, DoorDash is taking $30. Boom, that's going to the side. The driver has to fend for himself to make his little 5 or $6 or whatever he makes for this order that's going 15 miles this way, the other direction that he's not even going in to make some money. And it's like, it just boggles your mind and you get to realize that it's a scam and you're being scammed and you're wasting time taking every delivery. I don't take every delivery because I don't want to take every delivery because for one, everybody is not my customer. If you want to use a premium service like DoorDash and sit home and watch Netflix and be in your underwear and have me bring you your food, you should give me a tip. If you're not willing to do that, then I can't work for you. So I don't accept any orders that are like bare minimum prices because I know there's no tip inside, but maybe it could be because sometimes DoorDash does a practice where they hide the tips so you can't see them. So maybe it is a tip, but I'm not here to play hide and seek. So if I can't see it up front, I don't take it. I missed the no tip, no delivery. 
and I stand on that. I will not do an order if it does not fit for what I'm doing and it's practical because I'm here for me just like everyone else is here for them. And I understand that. So once again, everybody's not my customer and I'm not looking to service everybody. I wanna serve the people that respect my time and my effort. So when I see a nice order, I take it. And when I see the other orders, I don't. But saying all of that to say, there are so many practices by DoorDash that are just sketchy. It's not even funny. They are being other apps in the app market and whatnot. And it's just a lot going on. But if you order from Slice, you are actually utilizing the DoorDash platform through another app. And I thought that was funny and I wanted to bring that to you guys' attention. That's hilarious, you know what I'm saying? With that said, I'm gonna get up out of here. For more informative content about the gig economy, check out my videos, man. I'm gonna talk to y'all soon, peace.